please welcome back our beautiful friend, Louis Black. Good to see you again, my friend. Good to be here. First question uh, I have to ask uh, Are you scrubbing up for surgery or <laughs> what's going on here, my friend? Well, I, I live in the neighborhood. Yeah. You said uh, watch the convention and come on down and yeah, talk yeah. about it. Sure. I don't wear a suit <laughs> when I'm at home, I don't dress up to watch those idiots. <laughs> All right. I put on my pajamas. Yes. Normally, but since I've got to work, normally, uh, especially when I'm watching the conventions, I like to get a morphine drip. <laughs> and I lie back on my couch and I let it drift mm -hmm. over me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, when I get really angry, I like to tear off my clothes, run around naked, and scream like a banshee. <laughs> Well, but you I might didn't... fit in at the convention tonight because well, it was a little crazy. It was crazy. Not crazy enough, but it was crazy. Are you a fan? Because people got very angry, and you're an angry man. Did, you, did, did, did it appeal to you all? Would you like to have been in the mosh pit at the convention tonight? I would rather be um, uh, in, a, uh, in a latrine. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, actually, and seriously. Picking I, I, up yeah. those bars that make it smell nice. <laughs> oh, stop whining! Okay, Lewis, um, uh, are, are you excited? Were you excited about any of the candidates this year? Did you, did you see any of Ted Cruz's speech that he wouldn't endorse Trump? Ted Cruz, I stopped uh, listening to Ted. There was a, a, but I listened tonight because of you. <laughs> but I stopped You're listening. You're welcome. You're welcome. I, I stopped listening to him during the uh, during the um, de the, uh, the filibuster. He said, uh, mm -hmm. "You know, he started quoting from reading Green Eggs and Ham." Sure, yeah. And that was when I made the decision I would not listen to him again unless he was wearing aluminum foil on his head. <laughs> would Would you listen to him in a boat? Would you listen to him in a boat, Lewis? Uh, oh no, no. These two candidates right now, you get angry. You get angry at politicians, but everybody's angry at the candidates this year. It's kind of work, kind of in a bonus round here because these are statistically the two least popular candidates we have ever had for president of the United States. Yeah. How, how did we get here, my friend? It's a social experiment. <laughs> we are making the attempt. To, you know, we've done it with people that we like, and it hasn't worked out. So let's just, if we pick people that we really don't like, maybe it'll work that way. Because mm -hmm. that's, you know, so far, you know, democracy's great, but somehow we, 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 it's just not working. Well, maybe this, maybe this, maybe, maybe they both get to be president, but like uh, uh, the people who don't like Hillary, she has to be their president. And the people who don't like Donald, he has to be their president. And then it makes us behave. Because, you know what? We because we've been punished by getting the people we don't want. That's an interesting concept. I think you, what we should do is tie them together. Like into one person? That's it. Sort of they, like they, they're just tied up all day, and that's the way they got to function and deal with the presidency. Because they don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we have now is Donald Crank. He's a crank versus Hillary, who's cranky. It's crank versus cranky. It's not good. I can't, we, we have to stop these conventions. That has to stop. Mm -hmm. Four days of a, of a, what, it's a pep rally. That's, I never liked pep rallies. Did you ever like pep rallies? I wasn't on the pep squad. Well, nobody should squad. be on the pep squad. You don't yell before they play, you yell when they play. That's what you do. Yelling for, for politicians? Uh, what, what, is, what is the matter with you? You okay. yell, you yell. That's like, yeah, that's like a, a pep rally for a bowling team. I'm gonna stay over here for a while. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. I just, 
I'm, I'm getting slightly singed by the radiation you're giving <laughs> off right now. Now, you've got a show coming up this fall called Black to the Future on Broadway on Mondays at the Marquee Theater. Yes. What are you doing with Starting it? Starting September 12th, and it's, uh, I'm going to basically go through uh, the, I, the entire election cycle. You're going to live it again? I want, I want to show exactly how we got to here. Are you going to wear this? I'll wear something uh, more. Yeah, I'll wear a suit with a tie. And you know why? The same reason those schmucks do. In order to present the idea, if you wear a tie, as you well know, mm -hmm. people think, wow, right. this person knows what they're doing. And <laughs> you're ready at a moment's notice to strangle yourself to death. Exactly. Lewis, yeah. thank you so much for being oh. here. <laughs> Black to the Future is coming to Broadway this fall. Lewis Black, everybody, he's going to be all right. We'll be right yeah. back.